doing a su uh, success interview with Chris Bing. Um, so Chris has literally just come to the end of his 12 weeks in the Lean Project, and he's going to talk about his experiences, his wins, highs, lows, uh, how it's been with the group, um, I guess his biggest takeaway, what he's learned and what he's got to to go forward. So, um, yeah, first things, Chris, um, if you can do a little, little intro and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, hi, my name's Chris. Um, I'm 38 and I work for emergency services, uh, fire service. Awesome. So. All right. So, um, yeah, let's, let's start before the program then. So if we looked at how you felt before you, you started, if you had a little bit of a vision of that, what would that look like for you? Where you were, what was going on and cut that, that situation before we started working together? Um, before I, um, I joined the project, um, I'd been, I'd lost stuff going on in my life. Um, so I'd done um, a few promotion attempts in work. Uh, I thought you were un unsuccessful four or five times, certain part of it. Uh, a lot of it went down to, I think, you know, a year I lost uh, a good friend of mine, um, just lost stuff at home. And but last year was the big one for me when my dad got um, very ill. Uh, with and end up with life changing, um, you know, effects after it. So I was in a really difficult place then mentally. Um, even before my dad would ill, um, a friend of mine work put it down to a bit of depression, uh, which I refuse to accept an issue because I, I tend to be quite a upbeat person and everything, everything like that. But I might get myself out of it, but I could feel myself falling back into it and everything mm -hmm. and I knew like I was carrying weight as well and I wasn't doing much fitness and again I failed my fitness test for the referee in to get up into Welsh League so it's just accumulation of stuff then really and I knew I had to do something about it and it happened my brother-in-law I'd, I'd, I'd been with you I think he just finished his 12 weeks with you yeah, I see the difference in him as well, and I thought it's something I, I you know, I'd, I'd love to be like that, and so it gave me inspiration and to look into yourself, and um, uh, yeah, so to, to take the plunge because uh, it it, it could, couldn't make things worse, can it? <laughs> so, do you remember how you felt with with all that going on? You know, some struggles, mental health wise. Even though you know, maybe you said you know you didn't want to admit that maybe you're struggling. Do you, do you remember how you felt during that time? Um, yeah, I, I didn't want to go to work uh, with a big one. I, I love my job and it's, you know, I've got a fantastic crew and everything like that and it's, it's always enjoyable going to work. And I just didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to do so. I didn't, I didn't really want to get up. And it just wasn't me. And the, the best thing I've done, I, I a lot of people say talking to people helps, but mm -hmm. I can't emphasize that enough. When I started to open up uh, to my wife, uh, to go out and work, stuff like that, members of family, it was it made a difference. And so I'll, I'll, I'll encourage that to a lot of people. A lot of people say it's, yeah, they say talk, but it helps. It generally does. Nice. So if we if we look at like moving forwards, I, I think it's it's quite difficult when maybe you are struggling a little bit, like physically putting on a bit of weight, mentally not being where you want to be to actually ask for help. You know, how, how was that for you? Like, you know, messaging me going, do you know what? I've seen yeah. Lee. I think this could be a fit, but it's, it's vulnerable to ask for help. Right. So how, how do you find that? How was it asking for help? Um, I, I wrote initial inquiry to you probably about three times. Really, um, <laughs> and I even I asked my wife her, her view on it, and she said, "What have we got to lose?" Um, and she said, "If it if you generally think it'll help, then why not?" And it it, it was a big step because I always thought I I've always struggled. I've always wanted to do stuff myself, and I feel I'm never been one to burden other people with my problems. I'm happy to help other people, so they is. I can't take my own advice or anything. And but taking that step it just was huge. And I think when we had the first meeting then I explained a lot of stuff because I want to show her 
if I was uh, I asked you if I was eligible really, wouldn't I? Because yeah, well, yeah, you know, and you said no, definitely by all means. I mean, we had a meeting. It was um, I, even from the first meeting, I I felt, you know, th- this could be good to me. So. Awesome. So I think people struggle especially when it comes to like like mental health or losing weight like you know well-being as like a whole i think a lot of people do it alone don't they like you said you didn't necessarily want to ask for help how would it feel being because i I like to think of the lean projects as as a team like that's a big emphasis for me how would it feel doing that process and and being part of the team for you oh it's a big because everyone else either been through similar or or the same and it was one project that I was, they say, yeah, I know what you're saying, try this, or what about this? Yeah. And it, it was great. And then even towards the end, then I could feel myself doing the same for one, one two of the boys coming in. You know, it's like, um, I posted a meal and saying, look, if you're struggling, try this, cooking easy. And I never thought I would get to that point. <clears throat> but, um, it's, it's, it's quite changed. And, you know, I said yourself have been great help for it and the boys, the boys been brilliant. Yeah, dude, like I said, um, everyone that comes into the programme are the people I'd go for a beer with. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. <laughs> Not that I'm condoning loads of beer drinking, but, you know, <laughs> a few beers here and there is good. Um, I'm, I'm curious, like, if you, what do you think, where do you think you'd be now if you hadn't have joined? Have you thought about that? Um, I'd probably be... <sighs> When I tried to lose weight, I'd either do an all or nothing, but I'd lose weight or put uh, put it back on. Or I, I think I'd definitely be, uh, I'd probably bought like 15 stone, uh, one five off it before I was over it, and my fitness would just been worse. Um, even in work, in all fairness, we got one of the guys with us, ex army PT, and everything like that, and he'd always try to encourage me in the gym, but I'd always make excuses, stuff like that. And, mm. Whereas now, I've been going to the gym more than I uh, more in the past like, two weeks than I have in the past year, I think. So it's um, I've been brilliant, and, and yeah, I, I I don't know where where I would be. I think I wouldn't be redoing my promotion process this year. Um, I, I think I was in that that place of, you know, I'm I can't do it. I'm, I'm not good enough, and yeah. it's it's definitely changed my mindset. Let's um let's continue with that then. So if you look at where you are now, like what is what has changed? What what's different to you from from twelve weeks ago? Would you say? Um, I, I, I'm I'm definitely more confident myself. And if I get knocked back, I'm quite confident. I'll go okay. Take the chin, take the learning factors from it, and try and better myself and give myself a goal, and and not really and not let it. Hit. Hit me back like it did, um, and just accept uh, accept failures in a way. Then um, we were talking before, but the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger gonna yeah. you, said, you know nothing wrong with being a, a loser, just don't stay a loser, you know. You know it's that side of things, and it's um, I've really taken stuff like that on board, and you know, it's just um, it, it's weird. It's just it's like all of a sudden it's just everything coming into motion to me so it's all come together like i said earlier to you then of i'm posting more i'm being more confident even on the group it's yeah. taken me probably a good eight weeks but i'm posting stuff now of like my gym sessions and stuff like that and it's all of a sudden it's just like you know i'm in a really good place yeah to me there's no coincidence that you're you're starting to share more in the group because i think you know like i say like the first few weeks you're getting your feet under the table but there's no coincidence to me that I've seen I've seen a difference in you even the last two to three weeks posting the group like that's that self confidence, will you know like that willingness to take on a challenge like you, you know you're going to go for the promotion again right yeah definitely did, you, did when you know if we'd had this conversation twelve weeks ago what would your mindset have been for that would you have gone for it do you think I would have been doubting myself a lot more um you do I'd have the, the promotion process during the twelve weeks um yeah. I was on it. And I was at Minari for ages, even then. And I, I said, it, yes, I was going to do it, but it's too late. And I was like, right, next one, definitely doing it. I'm going to pass it. It's great. Yeah. And it's so even from space with it uh, since May, 
the change in me doing the project again. Yeah. So it's um, yeah. I, I'm just the confidence I got for it. it it's it's a lot, a lot better. It's probably the best I've been since I started doing it. What's well, um? I, in, we may get to onto this at the end. At the end, maybe a little bit share a little bit of a vision going forwards. But if we look to maybe let's look at some challenges because I think it's, it's all great going, yeah, this went well and I've got these yeah. wins and this is how I'm feeling, you know. Let's be honest, you know, there's challenges going through it. What what did you find the biggest challenges for you? I had um, I had a bad week where I, 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 felt like I fell off the wagon in a way then. I was, yeah. wasn't eating very well, my water intake was rubbish and the hardest part was getting back on of taking the taking control and going right you know i can see what's happening i think acknowledging it was a big one and then right let's correct it let's get myself back on track then and as soon as i got back on track i thought oh that's great you know it wasn't as hard as i thought but doing it it was quite difficult to right you know let's reset and you know get back on it i think that that was one of the biggest ones i found and it i think it said a lot about myself and again, the support of the boys was great. Because I think yeah. at one point, I wasn't the only one that had a bad week. So uh, everyone did that week. Yeah. Didn't <laughs> it, it was a bad week for like three, four weeks, <laughs> wasn't it? But yeah. we were there together though, and that made such a difference. Yeah, I think I think it does. I think it's really important because it's normal, right? Every you're never going to smash it every week. It's, it's it's unrealistic to think that. But I'm always curious, like. If you hadn't have been part of the program, what would that have looked like? You know, you have that bad week. What would have been the consequence of not being in the program, not having the support? I, th- I, th- I think it was always a bad week anyway for me. I think before the pro- program, but I just I would have just accepted it, and I probably would have been in there for quite a few weeks. I probably get a day I'm gonna go right and he saw myself out. I'll do it for a week, fall back in. It's just a it's a, hot, a vicious circle, was so. All right. So I always think this is quite a cool question. Like, I think people come into the program and they think they're going to have to go in the gym five times a week, eat chicken and broccoli like 24 7. Like, what are the things that maybe you thought you'd have to do, but maybe you haven't had to do? Does that does that make sense, that question? Yeah. Well, every day in the gym was one I thought, I thought, I right, you can make me go to the gym every day. But like, I think this week now, I'm on for maybe three, four times the gym. And it just feels good. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I expect a lot more changes in, or bigger changes. Um, but it's like drip feeding it that it wasn't. It was more sustainable, and that that made the difference. Um, the other stuff I thought it just would be like you got to eat, as you said, eat certain types of food all the time. But what I liked about it was we were left our own devices take accountability for it though as well yeah well like i was <laughs> i was a bit slow with posting stuff about uh what I, uh, the food and i for a while but when i did i think it was a thing of uh, am i gonna get judged for this now and i walked into like oh, no that's good that's good what about this and it's just like okay i, I kind of like this i, I kind of like the way it's been done yeah awesome so do you think with you know the things that you know you didn't have to do that it's, I think it's important that things it feel sustainable. I think I'll probably know the answer to this question, but you know people watching it might not. Does it feel like what you're doing now is sustainable long term, five years time, ten years time? Easy, yeah, really easy. Um, to the point actually, um, my wife now she's on board with it and uh, higher protein yogurt stuff like that. So we, we tried so many different flavors. We, we know the ones we like now as well. Yeah. So it's. Uh, but yeah, it's just so easy, and it's, and it's. I was quite concerned it's gonna be, uh, you know, healthy food. It's gonna be more expensive. So far, it's not really. If anything, I'm probably eating less, but better. Mm-hmm. And so you're saving money in that, in that aspect. And the big one was uh, soft drinks for me. Yeah, I remember. I remember week one. <laughs> I was, was, was drinking about five, six kind of Pepsi Max a day, and now that happens. Uh, last night I, I bought a couple just like to celebrate because uh stuff with Manvi Fat with football and I can easily go without them in the house now. So I went from like five, six down to one, if not none. And it's really good, really great. 
It's a, it's a huge wing. So I think if you look at everyone has their different things and different challenges, maybe, you know, it's having biscuits with tea or, mm. you know, n- um, snacking after dinner, things like that. Like everyone has their individual challenges. So for one person, it'd be like, oh, well, I could do that easy. Don't matter. What's important is for you. Like that, that was a big challenge for you. And if you think about your, your mindset, it's like, well, if I can do that, which I thought, I don't know. Did, did you think you could do that, by the way? Um, not as quick as I done it. I saw it take a longer. Yeah. Um, and, and I still enjoy the, the odd, odd kind of it. It's, it makes you sound a bit like alcoholic, really, but with Pepsi Max in it. Um, but Got the Pepsi Max shakes. <laughs> yeah. uh, it does. I generally thought it would take me a lot longer um, to just go off it, really. And well, I see I'm drinking a lot more water now as well. So that's. I, I always drunk quite a bit of water in work. It's always water or squash, and it's now I'm just better at home now as well, which makes a massive difference for me. Well, um, if you actually, yeah, let's let's go over this one. So the the you you know you you had what you write a message three times, did you say? But didn't send it to me, right? Yeah. Um, if there's anyone listening to this that maybe has been following, you know, like every, like you know, the, the lean project, they've seen my clients work, you know, results and stuff, and that they're on the fence or they don't quite think it's going to work, or you know, they've got maybe some of your thoughts going in, like, is this the right thing? Will it work? Like, what would you say to them, people are on the fence that are just a bit unsure? Well, just reach out, really. Um, even if they don't reach out to yourself. Try to reach out to someone who's been through it, who's quite open about it. Because I'm quite confident Evan, who's who's done it with you, will say the same as me of, you know, it's, it's been beneficial uh, massively. But reach out and, and, have a, and have a chat to you. You know, even if it's just, you know, just speak to you, say where they are, and you, you can just go from there then. You know, it's, um, I, I, I think I was a bit scared of you saying, no, I can't do nothing for you. And I think that's a fear for a lot of people of, you know, I need help. Some of them may say no. But um, obviously, if one case with me, and it, it, it has been, you know, it sounds quite extreme, but life changing. Let me ask you, like, in terms of the person you are today, how, how are you feeling about who you are, what, what you've achieved, like, m- mentally wise, physically? How, how are you feeling about this, this version of you? Mentally wise, I'm the best place I've been for a long, long time. Um, and I do not want to go back to where I was. And, and that's that's a guarantee. You know, my friends, my family see the difference in me. Uh, I still got some way to go. I'm honest with that. Um, definitely body-wise, I've, I've got quite a way to go. But where I am, I feel like I'm, I, I, I can get there. Uh, um, you know, whether I continue with yourself or not, what I've taken from it is is massive. You know, I'm, I've changed a lot of my lifestyle. It's only going to be better. And it's um, it's, it's such, I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to put into words. It's just, it's fantastic. Um, If you, if you sort of look, could have, um, I guess, seen into the future, would, would this be, would you would you have believed you could get this far? Would you have been happy with where you are? Or would you just think, actually, do you know what? I don't know if that's possible. I think me- mentally, I thought it's going to be hard to get into where I am now, um, and old me would have gone, "I'm happy where I am. That'll do." Yeah. Whereas now, I just want to just get better. And uh, there's always all these improvement. Like I'm, I'm honest enough to admit, of I've, I've still got ways to go, uh, some way to go especially when it comes to weight loss and just fitness in general. Um, and it's just, I think that old me who looked at that going, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit fitter, lost a bit of weight, great, brilliant. But I just want to continue. And I, I think that just says it all, really. Yeah, nice. And I know we're going to look to con- continue the journey, but I think what's really great is that this isn't, you know, almost like, the beginning for you and i think what's important mm. is to go and we spoke about this before like you know where could you be this is only i would say like 12 weeks is a short period of time and it, it goes really quickly so it's important yeah. to have that vision of six months a year or e- even further down the line 
Um, last, last, last couple of questions before we wrap up. Like, how excited are you about that continued journey and the future of what that could look like for you? Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward for it. Um, as, as we spoke earlier, and I said, I don't think I've lost as much weight as some other people would have because I was sorting out my my mental well-being then, mm-hmm. and I'm in such a place now. I'm hoping that the next journey now will be will show the difference in my body, hopefully. And hopefully just it'll continue to help me there mentally as well but um you know when you've got uh, a, a half decent body it always helps so yeah yeah it helps <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, I always ask so what's obviously we've done this you know we've had a little bit of review from the 12 weeks from this process today and having a little bit of a review of like the wins the struggles a little bit of a vision going forward what's What's your biggest takeaway, I'd say, from today, just doing this, and then also like an overall biggest takeaway from the whole process? I think from this today, hopefully I can help other people. Um, nice. Just, just acknowledge the fact of I'm not okay. Um, that, you know, we, we've all spoken about it. Blokes aren't the best of admitting that we, we, we got issues. But talking and just actually asking for help, it's not it's not a weakness it's not it's not a bad thing you know everyone needs help somewhere no matter whether you're feeling great or not you've already got something so don't be afraid to talk about it and i think that's a big one i've taken from it uh asking for help and getting help uh, and well to go ahead um <clears throat> did you say about the 12 week vision then the- yeah by the way i love that as well you know like you say you sharing a little bit about your story hopefully it helps what one more person you know whether that's they reach out to someone you know or maybe it gives them that little bit of inspiration to go even if it's like for a walk or a workout you know something and yeah. Um, yeah biggest takeaway from the um from obviously the whole the whole 12 weeks in the program um there's quite a few really it's just where i am mentally just uh you know things are achievable and if you do get knocked back which um which happened actually during the the 12 weeks i done my fitness session with the referee and yeah because uh, i'm a, fit, a football referee i failed it again but i got closer to passing it and everyone going great you know where you are you can work on that then so instead of people going, oh sorry mate you know I didn't really want sympathy. It just boys went basically. Okay, you got to know, own it. Look where you need to go from it, and it's it's nice to have the people calling you out on it. And instead of just you know tapping in the back, going, "Oh, unlucky mate," it's like you know, go for it now. You know where you know you you you've got a clear target, and that's that's a big one. It's not just with the fitness test, with weight loss goals. Um, <laughs> doing press ups where I said I was doing 50 comfortably, and Evan just went, Yeah, let's do 75 then. Yeah. Um, but it's it just that's what's needed. And I've just taken away of you can always do better. Awesome. Um, is there anything that we maybe haven't covered that I haven't asked you? Anything you, you know, if someone's watching you go, Oh, this is something to, to think about or consider or work on? So I always like to think, you know, have, have I covered everything? Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, I think um, something we've spoken to a few times, I think the ripple effect's a big one uh, with it, that, you know, like, um, my wife and I, we weren't eating the best, um, but because I was doing this, I don't know if she, she was quite, um, great about it, she, she joined me with some stuff, with the, uh, obviously with making dinner and everything, and she felt better as well. Mm-hmm. And I think when you're doing something like this, it's not just yourself. Uh, it'll affect your friends, family. Um, it's also close to it because if you go somewhere and people say, "Oh, let's have a couple of pints," you know, no, I'm, I'm okay, thanks. Some other people might go, but, you know, no, that's fair enough. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's, it definitely the ripple effect's a big one, and it's, um, you know, so if, if like yourself, your wife, or your partner are in, um, not a difficult spot, but you know, struggling to get better eating. By doing the program, it helps them as well. I think that's that's, that's something I've, I've noticed from it. Yeah, nice. And 100%, I, mean, I remember having a client, I don't know if he's watching this, um, guy called Mark, 
we worked together about two years ago and i think he lost like a stone and a half his partner lost like two stone and he was like oh it's so unfair i've, I've joined the program my partner's <laughs> lost more weight than me so yeah it absolutely happens whether it's a partner the friends that you see regular kids you know it has it has a ma massive ripple effect that was i think part of that is obviously the weight loss but also the shift in mindset positive yeah. I think you can then bring people up, although as opposed to sometimes, you know, sometimes we can get people that bring us down. But when you're feeling good, you, you more than anything, you bring people up. So, yeah, um, yeah awesome. Cheers for adding that at the end. Um, that's it. That's it. You, dude, you did good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. So just to wrap up, um, obviously, I'm going to give Chris a big shout out. This guy has changed completely in the last 12 weeks, especially the last like two to three weeks. Mindset. You know, just how he shows up as a person so hats off to you chris you know you've you've taken it basically and and you know put everything into it to get the best result um which is a testament to you so yeah um i want to give you a shout out on that and um guys as always any questions any feedback if you want to you know contact me or chris ask any questions then um basically go for it but um yeah cheers chris thank you very much for jumping on and I'll see you on the call. Next call. <laughs> no worries. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Take care.